Welcome to this Easy Tech News uh, Fix It channel, and uh, we are going to talk about the two Macs that were announced with the M1 CPU. So we talked about how the M1 CPU doesn't seem to be that impressive, and we have no real-world experience with it. And of course, as time went by, goes by, and we'll actually have uh, you know these computers in our hands, the tests are going to be there, and there's going to be, of course. You know, one of the first things most tech uh, websites and, and, and journalists will want to compare the speed of this MacBook and MacBook Pro to an Intel-based MacBook, MacBook Pro. So what is in here and how powerful is this? Uh, the thing is, the um, there's only two Macs that are coming out with the M1 chip right now. It's the MacBook 13 inch and the MacBook Pro 13 inch. There's a little more power on the MacBook Pro than on the MacBook itself. But overall, um, you know, they are running, uh, they will be running Big Sur, the next version of Mac OS that is optimized for these chips. So, um, only two, and I think this also is an indication that the M1 chip is not necessarily that powerful, is they're not extending it to a lot of Macs yet, but, you know, this chip will be updated and we'll have the M2 and the M3 and the, so on. Uh, but for now, only two MacBooks are actually um, going to have this. They claim 20 hours of battery life, which uh, would be uh, pretty impressive. Of course, real world, battery life of everything including Apple is always you know you, you kind of cut it by half at least um, so even if you had a real 10 hour of battery it's, it's still a good run you know but uh, it's kind of interesting to see uh, what's happening uh, with this uh, so battery life claim is there um, they are replacing the, the these are the two entry-level Macs that are replacing the Intel Macs that had that spot all the rest, all the other MacBooks, MacBook Pros that are more expensive will all still run Intel chips. So uh, we'll see how this compares when it's actually out and people start testing them. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see how well they perform. Apple claims they are powerful and as you know, equal to performance in uh, what the uh, Intel Macs were, but that's something to see because there's like I said, there's no numbers. There's They don't compare. We have no idea in reality. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.